Hello everyone! Welcome to the first video of 2020, the new decade. Something so satisfying as well about it being 2020. Yeah, like repetitive. Mm. Mm. Very pleasing. Mm. Mm -hmm. So we took a bit of a break over Christmas and New Year. Unintentionally, no, we just... No, unplanned. Yeah. We were doing vlogmas. I did one video. <laughs> Does that count? I don't think it does. We just we just needed some time off. You know, this is the first time in six years that we have not uploaded a video for three weeks. How crazy is that? Wow. Um, this is also the first year I was working full time and getting paid more. <laughs> <laughs> and I got a paid holiday over Christmas and New Year's. It's how amazing. Revolutionary. Yeah. And I I just went camping and then just wanted to live my life and not film it for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it happens um, because we're not professional YouTubers. This yeah. is not hobby. This is just for the lols. <laughs> we're, we're so, so bad, bad at it today. <laughs> <laughs> we're so right. out of practice. Let's get okay. on track. Okay. So today, the video, you've seen from the title, we're doing 2020 vision boards. We're, we're trying getting to get back on track. Inspired for yeah. the new year. We're trying to like visualize our best lives. What would that look like? What would we like to achieve this year? Yeah. Because I feel like it's going to be an epic year. Because like yeah. Tara is like killing it in her job. I don't I've know started... if that describes it. No, they don't need to know okay. that. <laughs> it makes no, like I'm she doing is. She's doing awesome. And like I started my business and I feel like really excited to do more like career and like business mm -hmm. and like goals and motivational videos on our channel more than just like the fashion and beauty that we were doing. I think it's going to be an awesome year. So I think this is a cool way to start it as well. Like start it off mm -hmm. with the dreams and the plans and the goals. And I feel like I actually have like a really visualized, like I've got a few goals going on this year. Last year was graduate. <laughs> hopefully get a job. I succeeded on those two. So let's keep it rolling. Let's add some more this year. So we're going to get started making our vision boards and bring you guys along with us. And yeah, let's get into it. So this is my mood board. It's actually a gold photo frame, which I've used in a DIY before. We used it for our advent calendar a few years back. But what I've done for my mood board is I've just recovered the back in this really cool map. It's actually a map of Rome and it's kind of fitting because I want to do lots of travel this year. Um, so I do have a few travel things that we could start with on my vision board. So for 2020, I'd really like to visit a few new countries. I don't know if these will be the specific countries that I visit. We'll see how the year goes, but I found a really beautiful photo of the Taj Mahal and this one of Greece, and I thought they looked really beautiful. I have this cool shot of someone's passport out of plane window in Paris. Then I have this gorgeous first class slash business class uh, flight view, which I'm going to admit is one of my goals. I really want to fly business class somewhere on my travels. That would be awesome. And this is my last travel related pick. It's kind of hard to see on camera. I hope you can see it, but it's these really cool Jeeps that you basically have a pop-up tent attached to the roof. Um, there's a company who hires them out in the South Island and I think also out of Auckland. Um, and that's just one of my goals. I really want to do a road trip in one of these. I wanted to do one last year, but they're very expensive. So that's going on the vision board. We're going to see if we can achieve this, guys. I don't really know how I want to go about this. I feel like I'm just going to kind of group things and probably move them around quite a bit. But let's just get them on the board to begin with. Um, these images over here are kind of all not really goals, they're just for aesthetic purposes, to be honest. <laughs> so I have these Pantone colors. They're kind of like my business colors as well. And then this one is kind of a goal. I'd really love to be in a financial place for my business where I can afford to buy fresh flowers every week, which I know sounds like a really random goal, but I would love to be able to do that. This one, Carrie Bradshaw, aka Sarah Jessica Parker. This is a shot from, I think, the first movie or the second movie, I can't remember. But I love Sex in the City and I just want to be more like Carrie Bradshaw, doing all of her writing, looking fabulous, living her best life. So I want to put her on my vision board. My vision is to become Carrie Bradshaw. Um, another person I have is Blair Waldorf from Gossip Girl, which I know so many people are just going to laugh at me for this, but I love Blair Waldorf. And I love like the vibe that she's embodying. Like She is just a queen, she's literally wearing a tiara and she just does her own thing and she's very confident she just you know rules her little kingdom with such sass and such confidence and that is something that i really want to embody the blair waldorf vibe and i actually have a little quote <laughs> to go along with it and it says what would blair waldorf do 
So I'll put those two together for now. Some more shots that I have for my 2020 vision, this really extra photo of this girl in a bathtub. Um, I have this shot, which is all about me working more remotely in cafes in 2020. These ones are kind of like some more business related goals. So I have this cute little YouTube logo. I don't know, you probably can't see it, but it's made out of paper flowers. And I'd really like to grow our YouTube channel more this year. So I wanted to put something on there for that. This one is an iMac and I'd really like to be able to purchase an iMac this year for my business because at the moment I'm just uh, working off my little MacBook Air. This little stack of books is quite like a cool business goal that I'm working towards. I want to write five ebooks by the end of this year. This last one, I started making this vision board in like November and at the time this was me like working towards the goal of buying a house. But now, as most of you know, life updates, I'm living with my parents, but <laughs> long story short, I'm actually quite happy that I'm not buying a house this year, to be honest. I'm pretty happy with that. So this is going to turn into a goal, which is just to move out of my parents' house eventually and hopefully rent somewhere. Um, I also really want to buy a car, so that kind of is like a double dipper, that picture we want to buy a car we want to move out somewhere these ones here are very like materialistic goals so I basically have like a Cartier box a pair of Manolos and a Chanel bag probably will not be buying all three of these if any I may not buy any of these this year <laughs> but I'm someone who loves fashion who loves luxury fashion and that's something that really motivates me to build my business um, which might sound silly to some people but you know this is the vibe I want, this is the life. A life of luxury is what we're aiming for here, people. Next up, I have some really cool quotes and little kind of inspiring words. Actually, this one isn't a word, <laughs> this is just a little symbol. It is someone hugging themselves and making the shape of a heart, which is a huge vibe for me. Self-love this year. It's all about the year of Ellen, doing awesome things for myself, so I just thought that would be something really cool to include. I feel like I want it to stand out a bit more, so I might put it on that so it's got the white background. Some other quotes we have here is, in life you have two choices, become an entrepreneur and, or work for one. Know your worth, then add tax. This is a really simple one that just says freedom. Um, that's something I'm working on a lot with my mindset this year as well. I just want to be more of a free person. Like I just care a lot about what other people think. And sometimes I just care too much. I mean, it's great to care, but I just want to be a little bit more free with my with my life this year, if that makes sense. The next one says, be there for others, but never leave yourself behind. Again, the whole self-love thing. And yeah, let's see where we can fit these. I also have this quote that I really like. This came with my 2020 planner from the company Carrie Co. Um, but it's quite big, so I'm going to have to shift some things around here. Already got too many things, guys. So I have kind of laid out all of the images that I just printed off Pinterest and now I have a few extra bits and bobs over on this side that I potentially want to use. So I've got some like scraps of paper, some postcards, um, some other like photos and things. I also have these really fun stickers. I used the, some of these on my mood board that I created a few months back. No, last year. <laughs> so this one says beware of the photographer and this one says make love not horcruxes and this one is life is full of tough decisions and it has like a million and one different camera lenses okay so this is what i have created i just moved things kind of around a bit until i felt like they fitted nicely a uh, tip for me is to like take a step back and look at it from a bit of a distance because when i did that i didn't have this photo here and i just felt like there was a lot of white space in that corner um, so yeah, I've kind of moved things about. I've added this really cool postcard that a friend got me from her trip to Hawaii. Um, I've added these little Kiki K quote cards. Breathe is a good one for me <laughs> when I'm getting stressed out running my business this year. And I love this one. It says, what would you do if you knew you could not fail? So the next step for me is to just glue everything down slowly. I might shimmy some stuff around and shift it a bit while I glue. I'm also going to add some of this gold washi tra tape to trim some of the edges of the photos, kind of to make them pop a little bit and tie in with the gold frame, the gold bear. That's my, my color theme for this year, clearly. Gold. Everything will be gold. <laughs> okay, so I've officially finished my 2020 vision board. There's one thing I quickly wanted to show you guys that I added to the back of the board. This is a little envelope. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to print out all of my 2020 goals. 
and put them in the envelope on the back of my vision board just because I saw someone else do this and I think it's really awesome like I'm super into manifestation and manifesting the reality or the life that you want because I feel like I did that last year and then I ended up quitting my job and starting this business so that's pretty cool anyway let me show you the front so I added a few kind of like stickers and little letters. Um, I added some gold washi tape as a frame around these two items. And yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it looks really cool. I can't wait to put this up in my office and get all the inspiration when I look at it. So this is my pin board, which I think it's from the warehouse. It's either the warehouse or Kmart. It doesn't say on the back. Um, so I'm just gonna start by taking off the pins from where my pin board had been previously um, so we can get started on our 2020 pin board. So my first picture is for the Kepler track walk that I want to do this year. I might do other hikes which this vision picture can represent but I'm training to do the Kepler track in April and it would be nice if I didn't struggle so that's a vision I'm having. I'd also like to go on more trips this year got a picture of some sort of tropical place. I've also got an area in Greece. I don't think I'll get to Greece, but the idea is go on a holiday somewhere, save up to work towards that at the end of the year. This picture is to represent wearing more color because I feel like I do tend to wear a lot of black and neutrals and I do really like pink and things. So hopefully this will inspire me to try a bit more to step out of my comfort zone with colour. I also want to continue to sew some things for myself this year. So one thing I want to make is a wintry coat, which is got a picture just there, and a little sewing machine just to represent some more sewing action. I'd also like to read more than like one or two books this year, <laughs> so I've got a few pictures of different book reading, and conveniently these are a lot of beachy shops as well and I would like to try go to the beach a couple more times this year so really didn't get out there much last year so maybe I'll group them for now so this is kind of another fitnessy type one I have been doing the it's like couch to 5k but it's got a zombie storyline so if you get kind of bored of running drills and want a new training program that one's quite fun um so I'm trying to run 5k that is a goal for the year I've always started this program and then never finished it so at the moment I've made progress I'm as far as I've ever been before so just gotta keep going till I can get that 5k I've also got a couple of food picks here um, these are actually of vegetarian meals so I'd like to try cook a few more this year I was eating mostly vegetarian in Melbourne but have fallen off that wagon so something I'd like to start to reincorporate more these two pictures of a house money box and some dogs might not look related but they are because my goal is to save up towards a house deposit so I can get a bigger house so I can get a dog. The dog is the main motivation here, hence a picture of dogs, so <laughs> gotta have that on there. Related to the fashion one, I want to try get a bit more creative with makeup this year, so I've got a nice glittery eye makeup pic. I've also got this picture of someone wearing silver shoes and pink pants, and it doesn't really relate to anything, but I'll put it with this kind of fashion-y thing. I just really liked that picture. <laughs> I also have a picture of a flower, which isn't directly related to my garden, but I want to not kill my garden and actually grow some tomatoes. Been successful so far, so we'll see how that goes. I've also got a picture of this lady that just looks creative to me, and I'd like to keep my creativity up. I'd quite like to get an iPad, an iPad pencil, so that I can do some more drawing and just kind of do that for myself. This one also represents putting up more art in my house because we've done some, but there's still a lot of blank walls, so I think that would be good this over in a home section. I've also got a picture of some bananas just to keep keep up the healthy eating kind of thing. I've also got a couple of quotes. Fall in love with the process of becoming the very best version of yourself which I think is kind of nice, kind of relevant to the whole 2020 vision goal thing. Um, and then I've also got you've got this, you've got this, you've got this. So just something a little bit inspiring. Now that I've got it all on here, I feel like they're not really big enough, but I might have a little shuffle play around. 
I've given it a bit of a shuffle and I've added a couple of pictures in from my old pin board so like some waves which represent the beach some more floral imagery I also had a bigger version of that eye which I feel like bulks out the board a bit um, and I also had this cool illustration of different exercises so I remembered one of my goals was also to do like a push-up and a pull-up which the pull-up's probably a bit ambitious but I'm gonna put it on here um, and that can kind of represent that as well and yeah that's my vision for 2020 I feel like I might tweak it a bit oh, I've got a mushroom let's put that back on So yeah, there we go. So that is our vision for 2020. Whoop whoop. I think some of mine are a little bit like of a stretch, but you know, you've got to have something that will last into the future, you know, something bigger to work, work, yeah. work towards. Yeah, I feel like some of mine were like things that will carry over to 2021 as well. Mm. Yeah, we'll see. I'm excited for this year. Should we do a recap video at the end of the year? Yeah, we should teach? actually. I can do my pull up on camera jokes. I don't know if I'll get that one. Maybe the push up. <laughs> <laughs> if you make a vision board, please post it on Instagram and tag us. I want to yes. see it. I want to get excited for today. <laughs> <laughs> my goal for 2020 is to build up my immunity to cats. <laughs> so I don't okay. sneeze as much. So I know you haven't added a cat at this point. Add a cat, please. Yeah. So. We hope you enjoyed it. Give a thumbs up if you did. And we'll see you in the next one because we're going to be making more videos. Yes. Yay! <laughs> Bye! Bye. Oh, God, oh, we're God. bright again. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wow. That's so bright. <laughs> that is how bright the future is. <laughs> we're not doing it. looking so bright. bright. God, I need sunglasses. <laughs> oh, we need to stop filming with natural light. It's killing us. <laughs>